a very good point students today we will discuss about the next sub topic biosphere research you know already we will discuss in our previous class you know so what is the meaning of biosphere research so the biosphere research is something by the conservation of biodiversity you know the conservation of biodiversity so the biosphere is the research we are thinking about the conservation of biodiversity you know so the naturally the large area found in the atmosphere you know so in the atmosphere has naturally some of the plants and animals even microorganism and variety of plants as well as animals also you can see them in the area you know so the conservation of biodiversity you know so the what is the meaning of the biodiversity you know the bio means what living and diversity means what the variety you know so the variety of plants you know the variety of plants and animals animals and even the microorganisms so the conservation of biodiversity is something but the bio means living and diversity means what variety you know in the atmosphere is consist of the variety of plants and animals and even the microorganism also is present in the atmosphere okay there are only the single species you know variety of species cannot count because okay, so the variety of species like plants as well as the animals even the microorganisms is present in the forest regions or the atmosphere so why we are conserve the plants and animals even the microorganisms you know the conservation the conservation means nothing but it's to protect for the planet why we are conserve that biodiversity even because the same you know we will make a de deforestation as well as the destroy the animals is warming up and the level of the species will be decrease okay but so that way we will maintain that the ecological balance then we will maintain that ecological balance and well as the biosphere reserves to maintain the health of that maintain that help of that and the protection you know the protection means what for the world you know the protection of the biodiversity and in the culture of the okay what we will conserve protect what we protect plant even the variety of plant and animals so that is a very important so why we are conserve the biodiversity means because the same or protect that natural habitat protect the natural habitat because the variety of plants and animals also can found in here so that way we must conserve that bio the diversity okay wow. we must conserve that bio diversity and the pachmaki pachmaki dio pachmaki biosphere reserve the next two are the pachmaki biosphere reserve so it's one of the biosphere reserve the pachmaki is located in the madhya pradesh the pachmaki is located in the madhya pradesh because it's a hill station so you have to see the hill station area because it's a hill station area so it's one of the example of is a pachmaki biosphere reserve is consist of that one that national park and two wildlife sanctuary you know that biosphere reserve you know so that biosphere reserve is consists of even that wildlife animals or wildlife plants even that next one some that animals or 
plants also we will conserve. It was so Pachamaki, Pachamaki Payoko Reserve is consist of one national park. So we have one national park. One national park. What is the name of the national park? The Sakura. The Sakura National Park. The Sakura National Park. And two, okay, well, and two wildlife sanctuaries. And two wildlife sanctuaries. The two wildlife sanctuaries. One is a Puri and another one is a Pachamarki. The Pachamarki. So the Pachamarki Payosphere consists of. So that Payosphere. Pachamarki Payosphere is consists of one national park. What is the name of the national park? It's a Sakura. And it has the two wildlife sanctuaries. One is a Puri. And second one is here Pachamarki. Second one is here Pachamarki. Okay, well. So the everyone we will conserve the forest because the beauty of plants as well as animals it can settle in that area. Okay. And the next one, the flora and fauna. The next one, flora and fauna. The next one was the flora and fauna. You know already, you know about forest. You know. So, the forest means like the variety of plants as well as animals, even the microorganisms, we can live in the area. In the natural habit, in the natural habit, you know. So, some students, you know, the some of the students they are enter the forest in the okay, well, They will see some that different types of plants as well as animals. So, they will see in the uh, long um, trees and they will see some the big or John students also is present in that areas. So they will saw, they will never see that kind of animals or that kind of plants in their natural habit. Okay, well. So whenever the people uh, enter the forest area, they will see that some of the trees is very tall and some are John scoring. No. So the joint school is the not even having the long tail and size is very big. Okay, wow. Well. So they will feel some shock. So that people they are never see the kind of plants as well as animals. Okay, wow. Well. So the forest, you know, the the flora means nothing but the flora means nothing but like the plants, plants and fauna and the uh, fauna means animals. And the fauna means animals. So their forest is consist of variety of plants as well as animals it can live in their natural habit. Okay, well, live in their natural habit. Okay, well. So the children that have seen that long trees as well as they will see some that John uh, stories also it can present in that area. So when they will touch the squirrel, they will sort of that find it. Okay, well. So the children, they have seen some the varieties of plants as well as they have seen the different kinds of big animals also is present in that area. Okay, well. They have seen that present. They have seen the different kinds of animals as well as plants also in that. Okay, well. So the professor Ahmed will explain some more. So that the organism it can survive in that natural habitat. So it is very important. So this organism it can survive in that natural habitat. The natural habitat. The natural habitat. Okay, well. So I am going to tell you. Don't put three. I will put children in the mind. Don't put disturb them. 
Priya Bal. Okay, ma. So that animals like the different kinds of plants, as well as different kinds of animal, it can present in that uh, forest region. So these organism it can live or survive in that in that natural habitat, in their own natural habitat. That it can own natural habitat. The no one should not disturb them. Okay, ma. So we should not disturb them. We should not disturb. We should not disturb them. We should not disturb them because so that also it can actually it can survive in that area. So because that means it's comfortable for survey, isn't it? So that means that also it can survive in that place. So that also it can survive in the. Own natural habitat, own natural habitat. We should not disturb them. We should not di disturb them. Okay, ma. So there are the variety of plants as well as the variety of animals also. It can survive in that areas. Okay, ma. In that survive in that areas. For example of that fungi in that area, for that for that example of flora in that forest region. Okay, ma. Like that, for example, salt. Okay, ma. And that wild mango tree and silver fern. Silver fern. So these are the uh, plants. It can live only in that particular area only. That species it can live in that own the natural habitat. Okay, ma. Like that salt and wildlife. And the silver fern. So these are the example of the flora. Okay, what? And example of the fauna. Okay, example of the fauna. So the like the bluebird. Okay, what? And giant squirrel. Giant squirrel. The giant squirrel. Okay, what? In the some other species also like the bison. So these are the items in the example of the fauna. Okay, ma. So the flora is something very important. The flora is something that is the flora is good is referred to plants, and fauna is good is referred to animals. Okay, ma. So these are the species which can survive in the forest in their own natural habitat. We should not disturb them. Okay. So these are the ones which can survive in their own natural habitat. We are not disturb them. Thank you, ma'am. For example, the salt and wild mango and silver fern is an example of the flora and fauna like the bluebird and giant squirrels and bison. Thank you, ma'am. And leopard. So these are the example of the fauna. Thank okay. you. And the next subtopic, the endemic species. Endemic species. So the endemic species means nothing but. Okay, ma. The endemic means nothing but. The endemic this word is referred to the particular. So the endemic is nothing but so this word is referred to particular. Okay, ma. So the group of children they will enter the forest. They will see some that uh, big that giant squirrel is present in that area. So that squirrel is having that uh, fluffy tail. You know because the tail. You know the fluffy tail. Like the soft hairy structure in presence in that radius. Okay, ma. So the students they will curious about that giant squirrel. Then the mama will they will explain about these animals. Okay, ma. So the endemic species means nothing but you know that endemic species. You 
to the end of the tree something that is a particular okay ma so those species those species of plants and animals which are found in that naturally found in that particular area so the endemic species is nothing but those species those species okay ma those species of plants those species of plants and animals those species of plants and animals is live in the particular area live in the particular area so that is called what endemic species so there are such kinds of plant and animals it can live only in the particular area only so that species we cannot see in some other places so there particular group of species like plants as well as animals we can only only in that particular area particular area and the species in the mundo are come and the region la mattu da irukku okay va and the species da namma inga rendu me enna panna mudiyadhu paaka mudiyadhu okay va so the endemic species mean those species of plants as well as the animals okay va live in that particular area exclusively live in that particular area okay va so they are not found in anywhere okay va so they are not found they are not found in anywhere so that species that specific species it can live only in the particular area only okay va they are not found in anywhere they are not found in anywhere okay va so the endemic of a zoo and stay in the country okay va so the particular species it can live or survive only in the particular area only particular area only for an example like the flora you know already i have explained you know like the sun and the wild mango okay va wild mango and the silver fern okay va so these are the example of the endemic species endemic species of flora endemic flora so sal and wild mango and silver fern so these kinds of plants are it can be one in a particular area only we never see it in somewhere isn't it and there is endemic fauna the endemic fauna we can think that say the particular animals it can survive only in the particular area only okay va so for example is a blue bird think okay, about that bird okay va and that bird and is a giant squirrel and giant squirrel so these are the example of the endemic fauna so these are the example of endemic fauna so these are the ones we can survive in the own natural habitat okay va we should not disturb them okay va if you disturb which what will happen if you disturb these animals means if you destruction of the habitat increase the population okay va in that species it can survive in the natural habitat okay so if we will disturb that species will what will happen increase the population increase the population and introducing of the new species in the atmosphere have you understood so we should not disturb them okay we should not disturb them that species it can survive in the own natural habitat if we disturb it what will happen increase the population increase the population and introduce the new species so you are you will disturb that the species will what will happen increase the population and introduce the new species or affect in that natural habitat or uh, affect in the natural habitat of endemic species are the endangered the extinct species endangered means what are you told okay you are endangered the extinctions okay so this is about the uh, endemic species endemic species and one more you know the species you know so the species so this code is refer to a group of population which are capable to interbreeding 
जमा सो द स्पीशीज यू नो सो द स्पीशीज ऑफ कैपेबल टू इंडर ब्रीडिंग ओके जमा द कैपेबल टू इंडर ब्रीडिंग द कैपेबल टू इंडर ब्रीडिंग ओके बट कैपेबल टू इंडर ब्रीडिंग अ ग्रुप ऑफ पॉपुलेशन इज कैपेबल टू ऑफ पॉपुलेशन इज कैपेबल टू इंडर ब्रीडिंग इन द सेम स्पीशीज इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इन द यू नो बिकॉज़ ऑफ दिस species you know all the members of species 